Hey guys, uh, I haven't made a video in a little while. Um, been doing some stuff with a lot of like my my uh, personal music. Been trying to get some stuff done with that, and I've been doing a lot of other stuff, but really haven't done like an update video or anything like that in a little while. And I figured, why not? Um, I figured I'd let you know uh, my plans with my guitars and, and stuff like that. Um, so just wanted to tell you guys that I am, even though I said I wasn't going to, I am going to sell my Telecaster. Um, really just hasn't been working for me lately. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I mean, I just, I guess I'm starting to like other things. I mean, I realize I'm always doing that, but I mean, that's how you learn, you know. So, I mean, I figure just for the hell of it, I'll, I'll strap it on and that's not what she said and you know just play it a little bit and uh, give it a little farewell before I list it for sale and hopefully hopefully someone will buy it so we'll see wait a second this isn't my Telecaster oh yes it is because I just fucking bought it just kidding about selling my other Telecaster. I'm actually not. <laughs> I just I saw this Telecaster on Reverb, and I absolutely fell in love. And I mean, it's it's a little banged up. I mean, it's a little hard to see. It's got like a crack right here. Um, got a couple little bumps on the back, but this thing is awesome. Um, it is a spalted maple top. I don't know how well you can see it. I'll be posting some pictures online uh, pretty soon. Um, <clears throat> this thing, especially compared to my other one, which, like I said, I'm not selling. I do love that Telecaster. Um, this thing is incredibly light. Like, I could fucking throw this like a mile. I could probably only throw the other one maybe a half a mile. Not really. Um, but what I really, really liked about it is it's all mahogany. Uh, the other one... Uh, has an alder body, I'm pretty sure. I'm not entirely sure. And a maple neck. Um, it's got a rosewood fretboard on this one. And a, like I said, a spalted maple cap. Um, for those of you who don't know what spalted maple is, it's it's just maple, but um, basically it, uh, the wood was taken like right when it was starting to die and right when the, uh, the fungus was starting to set in a little bit. And so it gives it that really cool grain to it. Um, but it's really, really nice. Um, it's got a set neck, which is crazy. You never see that on tellies. And it even has like a little contoured here, heel there. Um, let's see. It's, I feel like it's definitely thinner than the other one. Oh yeah, definitely. I don't know by how much, but it's definitely thinner. Um, probably to compensate for the fact that the mahogany is a lot darker of a tonal wood. Um, it's got the belly cut right here, so that's more comfortable. It's got like a nice contoured top to it. It's really, really nice. Um, right now, it, it it came stock from Fender. Um, I think this. I think it said it was a 2010 guitar. Um, it came stock with Seymour Duncan's, which I will be replacing. Um, I mean, I don't really have anything against Seymour Duncan, but I've just really grown very fond of Bare Knuckle, and I already have another pickup that I will be putting in there anyway. Um, I bought it a little while ago, got a good deal on it. It would say Bare Knuckle Miracle Man. That's going to be going in the bridge. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with the neck pickup yet. Um, I've tossed around the idea of putting the Bare Knuckle Mule bridge that I have in my 335 in the neck slot. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I may, I may not. I don't know. Um, but. It's, it's coil tappable, which is really cool. It's got a push-pull pot in there. Um, really big frets on here. Definitely jumbo frets. Um, so it's, it's a really, really nice guitar. I, I like it a lot. I got, a, I think, a pretty good deal on it. I don't know how much they were new, um, but I spent about $500 on it. Um, I, I'm sure I'll upgrade the tuners on this. I, I have locking tuners on my other telly, and they're a lot better. Um, 
Oh yeah, uh, the actual model of the pickups, this is a uh, Seymour Duncan Pearly Gates, and this is a Seymour Duncan 59, but I guess it's the reverse polarity 59. Not entirely sure if that does anything when it's just in humbucker mode. I think it has to do with when it is coil tapped. It's, it'll sound a little different, um, but I'm not really too sure. So I I do plan on selling those if anyone's interested in them. I, I'm going to put them up for pretty cheap, I'm sure, if I do put them on like reverb or something. So anyway, uh, enough talking, I guess, and uh, let me know what you think. And I already dropped my fucking pick. Good one, John. There we go. Ah. sliced my pinky open a little bit um, but thankfully that's that's a bit better now but yeah I'm a little rusty um, I'll do like a clean section so you can kind of hear the coil tapping a bit better this is still it's all been in full humbucker mode for now uh, but this is still a humbucker for the uh, the bridge tube screamer was on now it's off tell it has like a warmer uh, feel to it compared to the the other telly like the standard telly um, that one's definitely a bit brighter um, but you know it's it works so don't really have any complaints so that's the humbucker for the bridge this is the uh, the bridge coil tapped Practically like having humbuckers and single coils, which is really cool. Uh, this is the neck in the humbucker mode. Here's coil tap. Here's just the middle position, still coil tapped. And humbucker. It's going out a little out of tune. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm sure I'll be putting uh, locking tuners on this. Um, Plus, I uh, I had just tuned it up uh, when I just took it out of the box uh, like half an hour ago, so um, it'll take a little while to adjust the tuning. Um, and the uh, the strings are definitely a lot thinner gauge than I'm used to. I, I definitely play a lot heavier gauge strings. I usually do 10 to 52 Ernie balls, and these are probably 9 to 42, mm -hmm. I'd say. Um, like I said, um, I'm definitely not bashing Seymour Duncan. Um, 
these definitely just aren't really fitting for my style. I definitely uh, do a lot more like modern, like heavier stuff. I mean, I know they have a lot of stuff from that range, but at least these ones aren't really going to do it for me because these are more like vintage, uh, vintage voiced. So um, I definitely don't plan on keeping them in there. Um, it's got a really nice binding on it too. I don't know if I mentioned that. Even on the neck, which is pretty crazy. Um, I read some reviews on this guitar on like some old websites when when the guitar was for sale and uh, I didn't read it when it was for sale but I read it like within the past week and all the reviews for it were incredible like everybody loves this guitar that had the uh, that had the ability to buy it so um, I, I really think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this one I'm hoping the Miracle Man uh, fits in there well if not I mean I've definitely considered another uh, Juggernaut pickup just because it sounds so good in uh, the Strat. So we'll see what happens and uh, let me know what you think of the guitar. Um, maybe I'll do a cover or two with this guitar before I put the Miracle Man in, um, but I don't know. We'll see. And thanks for watching. And like I said, I'm not selling my other Telecaster because that thing is awesome. Just as awesome as this. I'm not selling.